over there by that door. Guys, watching the door. Beautiful. We yeah. are in the store. Beautiful. We live. Yeah. We recorded. <clears throat> Alright, what's up with it, y'all? As you feel me, the realest podcast in the BLC. I'm here with motherfucking Jared from Global Goods, based out of here in Reno, Nevada. Yo. And uh, who we went to? Uh, Hernan. Hernan. <laughs> 17, the guy in the camera. Alright, <laughs> shout out my boy Jay Stoner behind the cam. Um, so, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. How about yourself? Oh uh, man, I'm I'm doing great. I'm doing good. Been looking man. forward to this. Yeah, I'm really I'm li- really glad that you gave me the opportunity to do this, man. I really as soon as I started the podcast, like you were one of the first people I thought of that I was like, I got to get one with him. I have Dope. to. You know what I mean? That's that means a lot. So, uh, man, it feels good. How, how about you? How was your week? Long. Yeah. <laughs> it was long in here. I did a lot of golfing though, so that's always a that's always a plus. You golf? Oh yeah. So yeah, what's your handicap? It's 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 getting lower. It's getting lower every every time I go. That's what matters. Yeah, <laughs> but I, you know, breaking, trying to break the nineties this, eighties uh, this this year. So that's the goal. Okay. You, know? you got any clean ass like golfing uh, shoes that you be rocking? Like yeah, yeah. I just picked up the one, the Shadow One Lows, the golf. <sighs> And then I just rock some dope like superstars, Ooh, but they're okay. they're like they are cleats, so it's kind of like Damn. an OG feel out there, you know. Keep it with uh, Adidas and Nike. That's tight. Yeah. That's tight, man. I like it. So, uh, where are you from? Originally, I'm from uh, Palmdale, California. You oh know, that, shit! That song from Afro Man, Palmdale. Palmdale. Yeah. So that's that's it. That's okay. That's it right there. East Side and everything. Hell you know? yeah. Um, then moved up to Reno when I in like 2001, so I was about 11. Oh, okay. I've been here since. Been okay. Here since, yeah. Where'd you go to high school out here? McQueen. McQueen. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what's up. Don't make me say when I graduate. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Honestly, it's okay. You'll give it away. There we go. So, um, damn, bro. Okay, that's what's up. So you, uh, your parents and shit still live out here? Yep. Yep. You got my mom still lives out here. My brother lives out here with my uh, two nephews, two nieces, and his wife. And then my sister is down in San Diego, oh, okay. back in SoCal, with her husband and his, um, the new niece. Oh, okay. So you're the youngest. I'm the baby. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right. What's your favorite part about like being out here? Like you love Reno. Like you really like Reno. I love her, you know. Yeah. There's a lot to do out here, and then there's not a lot to do at the same time, which is good. Yeah. Because you can't be busy all the time. You got to, like, take it in, you know. Yeah. You got to go on hikes to waterfalls, and, you know, you got to do shit like that, too. Yeah, you, you be going to the course. waterfalls out in uh, Truckee and Tahoe and shit? Yeah, yeah. Here and here, um... What's that creek? What's the Hunter Creek? Hunter Creek. You know, oh, there's shit. a really nice hike right there. Uh, there's there's just so much good outdoors to really like get the fuck away. Yeah, you know, it's beautiful, because bro. we're always this yep. we're always working and so it's finally it's good to like get away that's why that's i like to up. golf truthfully yep to get away and that's why i like to snowboard oh shit you two snowboard things. too yeah yeah so two things why just not? In the, yeah exactly I wanted you. you like to be sitting on that mountain and looking down and seeing like the lake or seeing, you're just like damn like, yeah and hearing nothing you know because just like peace with yeah, the water. Yeah, you usually hear something every yeah. second. A car, and the stars. Something. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. If you're nightboarding, that's that's a beautiful time. That's yeah. a beautiful time. Yeah, man. That's that's tight, bro. I'm really I'm really glad to hear that because a lot of people I know, bro, that ain't from out here. They're like, ah, oh, it's sorry out here. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. But I feel like you, like you said, you have to be into like going to Tahoe, going to fucking. Um, like trucky fucking finding them trails out there bro well like you said like where was i from you know not no hate or shade on palm though but it's it's not what it's like in reno you know yeah. you can uh, you can do a lot out here you can have a lot of fun you can go to clubs and bars and, uh, yeah. it's just dope little college city and so you can't really respect anything until you see it from a different angle yeah so all those people who say they don't fuck with reno is because they're from reno and they've never been outside of reno yeah, you know, until they go to outside of Reno to a non-tourist destination. Yeah, you know, not LA, not San Francisco, not Miami, not New York City, right? To a fucking bumfuck nowhere, Iowa. 
Yeah. They're going to love Reno. Yeah. Right? So it always takes change to like, or like, well, you know, the grass is always greener. Yeah. Right? I feel like really look back and like, damn. Yeah. It's dope up there. Yeah. Because I know a lot of my homies who've moved away and they're like, damn, I miss it. I just can't come back because of work. Or they're back. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. They're back. So. That's what's up. Would you say like Reno's super underrated? Yeah. Yeah. And people know that and that's why they're moving here. I agree with you. I agree mm-hmm. with you. And it is getting popping. I mean, like, mm-hmm. you see the freeway, they're opening it up. Well, so it's, it's about insane, to be, what, dude. four lanes each what was, side? What was traffic? Six, you know, come on. Five years ago. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, and what's lit about Reno, man, is we're hella close to Tahoe. We're hella close to everything, everything. really, if you think about it, man. We're, we're eight hours away from L.A. We're yep. four hours away from San Francisco. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can go to Yosemite. You can go to Mammoth. Yep. You can go to... Ve- like, those you are all pretty... You can go to go to L.A. Yeah. 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 Ah. You know, For like, real, man. It's, 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 we have an international airport with nobody in line, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have an airport that we can get to, and this is what I mean. It's the small shit that people don't see because they've never fucking been there. Yeah. Palmdale, you had to drive an hour to go to Burbank or to go to um, yeah. LAX or go to, uh, you know, forget the third one, but, you know, you, 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 you had to drive and then wait in traffic and then this and then that. And yeah. it's like, you can't leave your car. You can't get drive. Here, bro, you call someone and you're there in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you're at the airport. And then you got yeah. to wait for 45 minutes. That's yeah. to go international, and right? To go to Mexico. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a very underrated city bro yeah very and, and we really is the biggest little city absolutely like we there's so much out here and yes. we hella small mm-hmm. you can get to sparks and reno and what like five minutes five ten yeah. minutes yeah come on you it's can like get across town in 25 minutes yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. that's quick it's insane right it's insane wow so uh, how long have you had global goods like how long uh, have you done this um since 2016 okay yeah um been into clothes and like making clothes obvious like making clothes since 2011 i have making I had, clothes yeah like I used to have a brand oh yeah and then that's kind of what paved the way for this was my brand and me working for like a streetwear retailer yeah. you know and then um understanding like there's like a bigger there's a void for fashion in reno yeah so let's fill it yeah you know so 2016 was the day the date that we opened but fashion, you don't have that brand forever. anymore what was it 20 25th, 25th hour? hour clothing yeah no I, if i'm not like totally invested in some i'm not going to waste my time and your yeah. time <laughs> some bullshit you, product yeah so that's truthfully it yeah that's what's up you ever thought about like picking up a new brand trying new clothes maybe one day no i think nah. i has to go fucking piss um no man i uh so invested in this place yeah you know i don't want to get you know get lost in other shit when everything's just going well here yeah don't distract myself yeah that's what's up you know yeah, I'm down with other adventures and investments and stuff like that. But with fashion and stuff, it's just this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, uh, real quick, my bad. I see your dog. You got to go out real quick? Um, Let me just take it. If you need to hand it out. Talk to Hernan. Yep. Hey, <laughs> so, hey, we got Hernan on the mic right What's now. Up? What's up with it, Hernan? What's up? What's up? Man, so you from out here too? I am from out here. Born and raised. Born and raised. Born and raised. Hey, me too. Thing. Me too. Hey, love. Hey, love Reno Brave, love right? Love <laughs> right. <laughs> Wolfpack, baby. But yeah, man, that's what's up. Okay. And um, I was talking to you a little bit earlier and shit, and you said that you model? Yeah, I model. I do I do the style. I do the pictures. Okay. Everything. Working on creating yeah. clothes, but that's low-key. That, yeah. That'll come out when it do. That's what's up. Yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of into right if now. If y'all do modeling and need anybody to model for you, hit on my boy Hernan, man. Please. We'll put his uh, Instagram hey, in the and down below. So y'all go ahead and look at that. So, um... Oh and yeah, and we, and, oh yeah, shit, Jay, man, Jay behind the camera, he be what? doing photography, dog. So like, tap okay, in. This is the moment. Well, me, me, you gonna get something, bro. I got yeah. you. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All love. We gonna do that. We gonna do that. Anybody else though, please hit me up. Yeah. Trying to do something. 
I'm never shy to an idea, so please just let me know. Oh god, that's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what do you do, like hobby buys? <sighs> man, honestly, I like to like to go outside. Spend time like in nature around trees. Oh, okay, that's what's up. He said Touching. I like to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was just talking about this earlier, man. Like how, how Jared was touching on. We all spend so much time working and being around yeah. everything. Yeah. To the point where like whenever I can get the moment to go, I'm there. Yeah. As long as I can. Like yesterday, I wanted to hike to that waterfall. I was out of town for like five hours. Oh, that's what's up. Where did, yeah. where did you go? Hunter uh, Creek. Hunter Creek. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You get to the top. That spot. You get to the top, bro. That waterfall, that waterfall is beautiful. Is I've been to I can't even think what the waterfall is that I've been to bro but that shit was cool to climb down it cause is you it kinda over in Kelly it got like yeah. a big ass watering hole yeah and you can but you start at the top yeah. and work your like, way like down ground, yeah you, you like camping you be camping I don't, I don't be camping what don't bro camping. I'm already going camping I already got like two dates of camping started bro yeah. already about to go bro nah, yeah. you need to I, go camping dog I'm telling you if you I'll like doing out. the hikes and the waterfalls and shit bro camping would be beautiful dog yeah, it's nice being out there bro late at night you chilling You blowing real mm-hmm. quick You just out By the campfire bro Just posted in your sweater Chilling bro yeah. It's clean bro And like The fucking just You don't hear nothing You know what I mean Like yeah. you, It's and just the beauty of it It's like real peace almost Yeah bro That's It's clean yeah. Oh yeah We got him back Oh Sorry about that I'm yeah, sorry man This dog has a yeah. Tiniest bladder I've ever seen in my life He's the tiniest dog <laughs> So <laughs> So um yeah so you you was talking about uh you uh you opened up in 2016 yes okay and then uh what gave you the idea to start this uh, like what the, started your addiction to like wanting to like what, what clothes like, I was what? always addicted like I mean that's what I mean when you said like how long I've been doing it's like no it's like asking like how long have you been doing art as like an artist you know it's like you just wake like you just you're born like artistic or not you're born in the shoes you know yeah i just remember seeing shoes at the skate shop and always just like into it yeah being a fucking seven eight year old nine year old kid i don't have money or like it was just seeing the skate world because it was so big in the 90s and the impact that it had in the shoes and all that yeah and so Having an older brother always helped too. You know? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know? So he would. So get one of stuck. your brothers is into this shit too. No, he's not. But back then, you kind of you get you like you get the stuff. Doesn't mean you're into it, you okay. know. But it, I was just like fascinated all That's the time. What's up. And then I really couldn't like do anything about it. So I would make clothes you know to like let out that artistic ability whatever so then it was just all right i I need to find a way to be able to mix my shoe addiction to my clothing yeah you know so the the whole idea was create global goods to sell 25th hour with shoes oh okay you know the whole vintage and the whole hype stuff wasn't really in the mix back in 2015, 16 when I'm like planning it. Like, you know, I was oh, more shit. like, let's do like 25th hour in shoes, you know? Okay, so shoes was always going to be a Shoes was always it. But shoes it was, was going to be mainly like all these racks and shit would have been like just your clothing. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was, it was that serious. You know, that's that what I was wanted like, this is to what it do, is. but. Wow. It sounds wrong, but you you just realize like other people's hard work is just way easier to fucking sell. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Like I love my brand and everything, but if people are willing to spend <laughs> two eighty, yeah. two fifty on a t-shirt and not forty bucks on mine, I'm like, all right, well, fuck, okay. Yeah. You know. Yep. So you can only do something for so long until you realize, like, okay, let's change the business. But I mean, you're and you're still doing what you like. This is what I love. Close. You know, I still, still like, love this stuff. I still wore this stuff and wear this stuff. Yeah. But I'm, you know, truthful. Like, like I created it to sell the, you know, the old brand with, with shoes. And if you see my old shop, it was, it was a lot of my, my brand. It had the most. 
Yeah. Over there by the high school, right? Yeah, yeah. over by, yeah, the original. The was damn near your clothes. Yeah. Honestly. That's that, it. I remember yeah. when you was there. Because mm-hmm. 2016 was my graduation year, so it's Okay, like, yeah. We, you know, that was a spot. It was popping. Exactly. Like, go over there for lunch. All the homies, all the OG homies, bro, that got that 25th hour clothing. That's it. And that's <laughs> what I love to see, but... You gotta pay your bills. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, like if a fucking uh, pair of babe shorts and shit could give you that fucking chunk. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, damn. yeah. And it, and it wasn't even like, oh, like I can make hell of money from these clothes. Yeah, yeah. Really, it was like, dude, we need to bring these clothes to Reno. Oh, okay. Because I was like, clean. yo, where do you where do you shop? Oh, I go online or I go to Cali. Oh, yeah. I go to Cali. I'm like, well, I'm step up, yeah. Cali. Their rent's a lot more, so their product's got to be a little more. That's yeah. just truth, the fact of the matter, you know? Yeah. So I was like, well, let's bring Callie here. Yeah. Let's bring online so, here in person. And you're the only person, decide. well, was. The yeah, only yeah, person totally. Doing this. And yeah, right. and then back then, it's like people just looked at me crazy. Yeah. My own family, you know, like, you're going to resell your shoes? I'm like, well, what the heck? What? You have no idea. Like, exactly. But I and really don't think a lot of people had any idea at that time. People still don't have an idea. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. They come in $400. And I'm like, <laughs> I... You don't gotta come in and like, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, every t- every pair of kicks that I caught, bro, it's always three or four. Yeah. It's just, and, and I feel like you if you like it, sneakers, you get it. But other people are like, nah, I get it. The question is like, all right, well, no one's asking you to come in here and spend it. You don't gotta come in and laugh at it. Oh yeah, you've had people come oh, in and disrespect yeah. you like oh, that. Oh, easy. You know, it's wow. just like I. It's, if you don't get it, that's fine. But don't mock me and what we love. Because yeah. that's just fucked up and arrogant and super disrespectful. How you handle situations like that when people come in there and act I like just a let them be. You, yeah. you know us, like, we're we're usually talking to you guys, like, one on one, seeing yeah. how you guys' day going, rather yeah. than just, oh, what you need today. Yeah. Like, we're, like, here to say, yo, how are you? How you been? How is everything? Not, yeah. What pair of shoes you need? All right, cool. Have a good day. Yeah. We get to, we get to know you. Me, but I vouch for that. Yeah. Y'all make sure that y'all do that. Yeah, that's make love. Everybody feel like they're at home. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the main thing is we I try I always tell them no matter what they're dressed like, no matter what they look like, no matter what, treat them like a human being the way you would want to be treated when that's you walk up. into an establishment, right? And so. We get bums buying shit from us because they're just they feel like a person for once, you know, that's and and, and that that makes us feel cool. Like that makes us feel like all right, well, this is what we're here for. That's tight, you know. And so, at the end of the day, people will disrespect us, but we just keep our smile on because we're we're doing what we love, and they're just mad at their everyday life. Yeah, and you've had motherfuckers rob you, right? Oh yeah, multiple times, right? Yeah, yeah. How many times has it happened at your old store and here? None at the old store. None, huh? Mm-mm. It just, that's that kind of area. Though. It just started now, man, truthfully. Yeah. And now, it's weird, you know? Yeah. Been here for four or five years. Yeah. And, then and of course, hit, you've had boom, a, boom, boom. up the security, right? Yeah, yeah, I uh, had to, you know. Yeah. It was up. It's just sometimes you go so long and you just like, all right. But yeah. it was stupid of me to not put some sort of gate or yeah. bars in yeah bro but you know shit happens you learn and then boom you fucking just keep rolling with it yeah don't let them stop you and you you all those motherfuckers have done that you've uh, caught them or what I don't really go after them because truthfully the, the cops you know they just look at us just like oh, they're just young punks selling shoes but uh, you know Damn. Not every cop, but well, we gonna come after your motherfucking nah, ass, dog. That, and Try that's, some shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, right, motherfuckers. That and, that's, and that's the thing. It's like, but see, you got enough people locked up and locked in with you in the city. We do. Any anybody that sees that shit we will do. immediately and, like. And that's what bro. tells us. That's what makes me wonder. Like, is are they from Reno? Right. Yeah. Because there's just a lot of people that are. Uh, 
that are that's some fucking on our dog. back. They got yeah. our back. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So they would recognize something. That's that's cool, man. Here's something. That's cool, bro. I really, you know, it, it, it's tight that you have this shit and that you know that either way, when that shit happens, it's still you still keep grinding. Yes, you know what I mean. Absolutely. You keep going. You keep fucking achieving your goal. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You don't be like, damn, like that, that's hell. Like it is, but it's like can't feel you bad keep for going, myself. Bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, bro. If uh, you, you don't mind me asking, what does global good stand for to you? Because, I mean, I, we could probably all grasp a concept, yeah. right? Global goods, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, what does it mean to you? What? Just what's... Just because just something's popping in your neighborhood uh-huh. doesn't mean it's popping in the next neighborhood or yeah. in, like, in your same city, right? So... What's popping in your city may be popping, not popping in the next city, next next to you. Yeah. So everywhere around the globe has their good, has their thing that makes them, you know? Yeah. It's like, not many people wear rain jackets here. You probably see those all day in like Washington, Oregon, New York, rainy cities, right? And so just knowing that this this world's fashion is so different not even from country to country city to city state to state neighborhood to neighborhood yeah and it's super cool to have conversations through fashion yeah you know that's tight yeah Um, and I think a lot of people can connect through clothes that's it like there's that's that's what I try to t- like tell people when they're like they're on the fence about buying shit. I'm like, dude, you're working your ass off, not just to pay your bills, but to enjoy this life and to get that item that you really do want, or else you wouldn't be debating it. Yeah. You know. And then once you get that item, I guarantee conversation piece conversation piece and so that's what it is man yeah. you know you, you get these items to yeah look good but to like like oh shit dope 97s or dope ones and boom there's a conversation yeah. and there's a homie or there's a yeah. it's, all, it's just networking you never know who you'll meet yeah, through man. shoes through fashion I, yeah and like today being here like you know while y'all was still open Mm -hmm. and seeing all the different type of people up in here you're Mm -hmm. like oh wow like right you have a big selection like you have like little wrestlers in here man 10 12 years old copping 300 and i seen them they have three hundred dollars shoes on Mm -hmm. and it it was dope like you know what i mean what the hell's going on parents are in here fucking with you like Mm -hmm. that's clean you know what i mean at the end of the day who's whose wallet is opening you know that parent (laughs) so (laughs) you gotta be cool to the parent too yeah and they they honestly they love what they've seen here because they get a lot of vintage kaya come here what are you doing they they, saw they, they get a come here they get a lot of like, like they'll be in that section, and be like, "Oh, honey, look at," and, and yeah. they'll have their their nostalgic like moment moment That's while tight. their son or daughter is having their moment with our new Yeezy or Travis yeah, Scott. Yeah, man, that's tight. Right? Yeah. And so to to see people of all different ages and races and ethnicities and religions and whatever, they all leave this store with something happy and that's pretty cool and rare yeah. to do. I know I'm not walking into Victoria's Secret with my lady and you're like, oh, dope, alright, baby, let's get it. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but when you come in here, you guys, we'll both have that smile. Alright, let's shop. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, that's something that I always wanted to you drink. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Which is, so, I mean, I guess you kind of answered it like your favorite part of doing this. The people. The people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course. Time, man. Yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, I love shoes. She brings good money. But at the end of the day, the people we meet, the conversations we have are like, those are irreplaceable. All this shit is, though. You know, mm-hmm. it's all replaceable. Yes. These kids are like, you know, good kids that we get to have crazy ass conversations. They're like, they become brothers and family and shit. And that, you know, 
can't yeah. replace that mm-hmm. kind of bond. The shoes yeah. and bring that feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like shoes, they bring him together, but then it's like that's what that's what I mean. It's the shit that brings people together, but and it's how you yeah. can keep that going. Yeah, like look at me. I mean, like I'm into this shit. That's how I like. Hey, I wanna, I wanna sit down with y'all. I wanna like, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. That's tight, man. And the people you've met along the way of doing this, like I've seen, you've had artists, yeah. like big artists, yeah, come up in here. You have me and Creeds, like bro, because what? Yeah, you popping. This this place is amazing. Yeah, it's thank like you. a, it's like a shoppable museum is what we try to call. It's it. like a fucking shoppable mu- shoe museum. Shoppable, yeah. mu- okay, I like that. Shoppable shoe museum. <laughs> the shit you never thought you'd Shop- see in person, yeah. right? Yeah. Like today, you know, we had some the what the Paul SBs, and it's like this dad comes in with his son, and he cops the seven hundred and fifty dollar pair of shoes. Mm-hmm. You know, they all left with some the son, the that dad, the wife. Yeah, right. Man. And so, that's tight. He, dog. he just saw it for the first time, and he was like. Pfft. I need them. Like, and you know, I got it. I'm grabbing them. Price tag wasn't an issue. Yeah. So. And because when it's something you love and something mm-hmm. you want and crave, so price you that. ain't tripping on the price, uh-huh. man. It's, you, you know, because at the end of the day, it's like, you're paying for what you get, man. You know Absolutely. what I mean? That's how I personally I mean, feel. And, and un- that That's true. But unfortunately, sometimes Nike products are a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, bro. So it's like, we don't make them, I swear. We're not trying to sell you a fucked up shoe. But we ain't we, trying to fucking not make no bread. You know, I'm not on. saying fake shoe, but I'm saying like a Carmine that may be pinking or B-grade, something like that. But You ever had fake shit come in? Oh, all the time. Because you guys fake do co-sign, shit. right? Do you guys still do co-sign or not no more? We do. Oh, okay. We, through that, through people trying to sell it. See it all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all have had some fake shit come in. Like some really good fakes? Yeah. And some really bad fakes. And some really bad fakes. Damn. Fakes you where you're like morally like, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I, I can't s- even get away. Somebody would know. fucking buy this and literally never know. But yeah. it's not that's not us. But we don't do that. They literally don't do that, why we created this shop is that's to help people not get ripped off of their hard earned money. Like authenticity, mm-hmm. you know what I you mean? You know how many twelve year olds go on the internet and just run their fucking debit card real quick yeah. or something of their quick allowance they've been saving for fucking two months for this purchase. Mm-hmm. That's and someone on the other side's ha 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 idiot, you know. Yeah. It's it's not what And I mean y'all aren't like a disrespectful for. price either, man. I mean like No Y'all yeah. like you if you go to the official sites, you're you're reasonable as fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stock X, Flight yeah. Club, like Exactly. But and exactly the best part it. about y'all is You're getting it today there. Thank you. So tell me what doesn't charge you convenience fees. Yeah. And I'll wait. Yeah. You know, tell yeah. me Yeah. I'm not saying no shipping fees. Yeah. I'm saying the time of you waiting for your product to get in your hand, you if you can't make that forty or fifty extra dollars, yeah, because you're paying for it here, maybe you shouldn't be buying the shoe. You yeah. know, it's like, dude, it's yeah, it's, it's right in front of you. It's face. right yeah. there. You get to walk out <laughs> in it, dude. Like you get to hold it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be like, here's the money. Yeah. I'm taking it with me. Or it's like, wh- it's like if you want it so bad, why haven't you ordered it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why don't you have it? Because you won't buy. You you're not you're not trying to order. It. You're trying to yeah. buy it in person. It's like an extra hundred <laughs> or two hundred bucks for shipping. Oh, like dude, that, it's bro. insane. Yeah. And it's just like, time. Time is money. Come on, bro. Time is and money. you don't even get it for like a month. Is it? That's it. By the time you get it, you're like, oh yeah. And sometimes they don't even go through. They're like, oh, it went rejected. And you're like, Wait, what? Bro, I've been waiting two and a half weeks. What do you mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not as smooth as people make it to see. Yeah. You know? And y'all been, you know, y'all been striving for so long. Like, so you guys. Well, have- that right there. <laughs> there was no StockX. There was no GOAT in 2016. Well, maybe <laughs> GOAT, but there was no StockX. You know, it yeah. was just Fight Club. So it's like now people have that comparison. It's like, all right, whatever. But, but y'all understand are still so unique. We were, yeah, yeah, exactly. And just you know? understand, bef- even before that, we still had our prices dope. Yeah, because I've gone to other spots in other cities like uh, Sacramento. There's this one little mall and has mm-hmm. like three stores like this in there. Mm-hmm. But trash shit, bro. I went really? in there and I'm like, look the same stuff. And I'm like, 
I'm what and like other sh- and shit that I've never even like seen or shit that don't even look good. I'm like, what? You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. then you're looking, it's like over, like hella mm-hmm. priced. You know what I mean? And you walk yeah. in, it's ghost. You got like one person in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's or a, it's that's empty. A, and that does, if that's a mall, that's not the best either. Yeah. Malls no. should. That's traffic. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's empty in here because we're you know fourth and Keystone, right? Yeah, but, but come on, look at y'all. Y'all are still that. fucking. Yeah. Y'all yeah. are going as good as like you would at a mall. Like those kids found us, and we're on Fourth Street. You think you know? Yeah, the parents on. weren't like, all right, no, it's bad parts. Like they came here and they were, they walked in with smiles and they spent. Well, and money. you not, and it's nice. You right off the freeway, man. Yeah, you're just yeah. right off. You're like boom, right here. That in and out's pretty nice too. <laughs> oh yeah, and then they put that shit in right there. It's like, oh y'all, that ain't gonna. That, 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 hey, I know y'all been. Uh, that's not gonna hurt. Uh, business. Oh, we've been there a couple times. No, we're in and out 